everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title of this video, it's very exciting. We are going to be doing an unboxing, but not just any unboxing. We are doing a MacBook Pro unboxing. Ooh, ah. <laughs> if you guys like this video, please give it a little thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me then go ahead and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoy I had to re-up on my bean juice let's just jump right into this so i ordered this i don't know like right when it came out which was like may 5th took it like about three weeks for it to get here this is the box that it came in there's a little arrow right here no scissors needed. Oh. Okay guys, this is the MacBook Pro. No knife needed, no box cutter needed, no scissors needed. Apple is like, step into the future. Box cutters are a thing of the past, man. Okay, get this, get this, pay attention, watching. Are you watching closely? Let's turn this fan. Ah, what did I do? Oh, it's so sleek and beautiful. Of course, it comes with like the license agreement and information, and then the stickers that no one ever uses. I think it's kind of cool that they, the stickers are space gray, like the computer. That's cool. It says, welcome to your MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro automatically starts when you lift the lid. Ooh. And it comes with the wall adapter and the cord. Oh, and actually, I also ordered this cable that's like a USB to a lightning port cable thing, whatever, so that I can link my phone to it. I can also plug this into here and use this as an extra adapter to charge my phone if I want, but this is very useful also. There's that. So now we have the actual computer. Nice, it's so light. Let me put it down. So the touch bar just lit up. This contains a built in screen reader called VoiceOver. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Like, that just kind of shook me. That is too much artificial intelligence for me. What is happening? Let's take it one step at a time, okay? US. <laughs> Now it wants me to set up Touch ID. Alrighty, Touch ID is ready. I like, I'm gonna choose auto because I like when it's dark mode at night. Alright, now it is setting up. Exciting. All right, so I'm going to about this Mac so I can read you guys the details. I'm not like a tech person, so I really didn't know what half of this meant. I had to look it up slash phone a friend. This is the MacBook Pro um, 13 inch, you know, 2020 that just came out. So it has four of these ports. And then it has an old school headphone jack. What? That's kind of weird. But like I said, I have that cable, so I think I can like use that. Wait, can I? No. What am I talking about? Whatever. I have wireless headphones, but I just think that that's kind of weird. So if you go on the Apple website and select Mac, this is what comes up. 
Then I selected the MacBook Pro, and these are all of the options. Of course, you can still get the 16-inch option, which would give you, you know, the dedicated graphics, which is honestly ideal for editing. But we're working with the budget here, so I went with the new 13-inch option. So first off, you have four different variations to choose from for your computer. The first two options are 8th gen processors and the last two are 10th generation processors. Then you have to choose between um, space gray and silver. I chose the space gray like you saw. I'm going to go ahead and make a selection and then it brings you to this screen. Then it's just a matter of how much storage you want and further customizing any final details so it can be just the way you want it. So I decided to upgrade to the i7 processor. I just kept the 16 gigabytes of memory and the 512 gigabytes of SSD storage that is default with the computer. So the only other thing I added was this Pro Apps Bundle. It actually came with Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, and a few other apps for just $200. So that's a pretty good deal. And this is everything that comes in the box. So here is the final look of everything with all of the details. Um, this is with the education pricing. So if you're a student or teacher or really anything related to education in the slightest way, you can get about $100 knocked off. And then this is the final price before taxes. So I wanted to quickly show the info in my About Mac. Um, basically the same thing. This is the overview. Um, as you can see here is the display. Something I want to note is I put in my Apple ID and it transferred everything from my phone. So my storage already looks like it's like halfway gone. Uh, but of course you can go in and just delete that. But that's something I wanted to make note of. And also as you can see there is going to be an update when you start your Mac. So mine updated to the newest version of Catalina. All right, so that wraps up this unboxing, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.